Good morning, ladies. I would like to share scripture from Mark 4, from verse 3. This is something that, um, a scripture that I also just recently, uh, God has used to change my heart and just deeper my, re- deepen my relationship with, it, with him. So it says, listen, a farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some seed fell on a footpath and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The plant sprang up quickly, but it soon wilted beneath the hot sun and died because the roots had no nourishment in the shallow soil. Other seed fell among thorns that shot up and choked out the tender blade so that it produced no grain. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil and produced a crop that was 30, 60 and even 100 times as much as had been planted. Then he said, anyone who's willing to hear should listen and understand. From verse 15, Jesus explains the parables of the different soils. The seed that fell on the hard path represents those who hear the message, but then Satan comes at once and takes it away from them. The rocky soil represents those who hear the message and receive it with joy. But like young plants in such soil, the roots don't go very deep. At first, they get along fine, but they wilt as soon as they have problems or are persecuted because they believe in the word. The thorny ground represents those who hear and accept the good news. But all too quickly, the message is crowded out by the cares of this life to lure of the lure of wealth and the desire for nice things. So no crop is produced. But the good soil represents those who hear and accept God's message and produce a huge harvest 30, 60, or even 100 times as much as had been planted. Verse 25, those who are open to my teaching will understand and will be given, but to those who are not listening, even what they have will be taken away from them. I really just pray that we would search our hearts, search our souls, souls and let the word of God be living and active in our life because it's what the word of God does. And I pray we will search ourselves and ask the Holy Spirit to lead us to show us exactly where are we because the word of God is supposed to come and nourish us. The word of God is supposed to make us grow. And um, I really pray that we would also be uh, hungry and, and ask for more understanding. As the scripture says, more understanding will be given to those. And I pray we would um, yeah, be growing and be active. Uh, let the word of God changes and transform us so that we can grow from glory to glory. Be blessed.